Canada's East Coast, it's your turn. Live pictures here, panoramas of, of Halifax as we look out to the Atlantic there. The east is being hit as we speak with snow, rain, strong winds. Live pictures here of the day that's going to give a pretty messy morning commute for many people. And this is the same storm system that moved through much of Ontario and Quebec yesterday. Let's look at some of those scenes in Toronto. Snow turning to rain and then into one big pool of slush. It made things pretty difficult to get around for drivers and cyclists and pedestrians. In Ottawa, a similar scene by Yesterday afternoon, the capital was covered in snow. And in Montreal, also a mix of snow, rain, and ice pellets. The weather is expected to intensify today. There are several winter storm warnings in effect for parts of northern Ontario, Quebec, and the East Coast, which is where we're going to head again. Brett, back out in the path of the storm. He's in Halifax this morning. We're checking in with him hour by hour, and we're watching the snow accumulate on the cars behind you. So things are getting worse there, Brett, I gather. Yeah, they're getting worse, and I'm, I'm so glad that we have me out here hour after hour to make sure that we know that the snow has increased just a little bit more on those cars behind me. Yeah, so that's the breaking news. We have more snow out here. The snow is going to continue before it changes to rain, before it changes to freezing rain and slush around this time yesterday. We were all tucked in here, warm and dry in our uh, homes and workplaces and beds maybe, and, and, and watching Ontario deal with this storm. Now we've got our share of it here. So. Weather alerts from Environment Canada for the Halifax area. I think we have a rainfall warning and a wind warning. So this wind is going to pick up throughout the day. That might cause some power outages. I just checked the Nova Scotia power map. Only a handful of outages as of yet in Nova Scotia. Uh, that's likely to change as those gusts increase throughout the day and into the afternoon. Uh, the rain is going to wash away pretty much all of this snow by the time we hit the mid-afternoon mark. Uh, as for folks who are watching this, kids who are watching this, maybe wondering if they have to go to school almost uh, depending on where you are in the south end of the province schools are closed those out those uh, closures continue and spread farther and farther north till we get to the Cape Breton Island region where schools are open this morning but planning on closing early once this weather makes its way there so uh, um, uh, snow right now but a, a messy mix anticipated for the rest of the day here in Nova Scotia Heather. And not restricted to Nova Scotia, getting some school closure notices from New Brunswick, for example. What's the regional picture, Brett? Yeah, extensive school closures over in New Brunswick. Uh, pretty much every Anglophone and Francophone school closed uh, for the day because of the weather there. They're like getting some more snow. There's uh, winter storm warnings in effect for much of the province of New Brunswick. Uh, moving over to Newfoundland and Labrador, they have alerts as well, but they're going to kick in. They anticipated the weather to uh, hit and arrive there later on today into the afternoon and into the evening. So it really is... Um, uh, everyone's getting a taste of this storm. So we had Ontario and Quebec today. It's Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and then this evening into Newfoundland and farther north and east from there. Heather. Okay, I'll check back next hour to see if uh, Thanks. you're still in the thick of it. <laughs> Happy 2024. Brett, appreciate it. Brett Ruskin there in Halifax.